Welcome, everyone. You're in the right place for our March 2019 FM study hall with your presenter, Fulton Hartzog. Fulton, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Jenna. Today we're going to be covering some uh, ideas about how you can simplify the Archibus navigation. Um, I'm showing you one type of navigation that Archibus has. This is called the Process Navigator. I'm going to log out and show you the other option, which is called the Home Pages. And so that's what this looks like. And the applications are the same in either case. Uh, you see the what was down the side is, uh, is stripes that were horizontal are now organized by what are called buckets. And you see them across the top and through the halfway through the bottom. And then you have your system uh, buttons here at the bottom. So what I want to do, because when you start clicking into something, there is always a lot that you can do in Archivus. And even some of them are on second pages um, and, and can be very difficult to navigate. Now, one thing you do have the ability to do is to grab things and drag them into um, your favorites. So when a favorites pane is or bucket is there, you simply grab and drop and then it appears here for you. You notice that the username, which is up here, AIX, is also uh, here. Now, you also have the ability to see multiple different presentations of this same um, view. So you have a professional a portfolio manager, in my, and I'm, of course, I'm looking at all applications here, so that can be a little bit confusing sometimes because your software may not have all of these things. <clears throat> but again, you see that you still have a lot to look at uh, in a lot of these different things, and you can look at this as well on our demo site if you'd like. If you don't know where that is, then we'd be glad to give that to you, get that to you. And you can look through these various uh, pieces. So. What I want to do, though, is to give you some idea of how we can, can make this a little simpler to work with. And so I'm going to go into system administration, and right off the bat, I've got things that are listed in this first section that are be, will be useful to me. And then I have things down in this lower section that may be useful to me on two different pages. So I'd like to kind of bring things together. And so I'm going to do that, not not for that particular thing, but I'm going to do it for uh, space utilization. So the first thing to do is to get a list of the views you would like to put together into this particular um, process. And that's what we're, what we're going to be doing is putting together a process. The way that Archibus works is you have um, a user, you have a role that is assigned to that user. The role is made up of processes. Those processes include a number of views, and those are um, all put together so that you can then deliver that to the role, and the person that has that role sees those particular processes. So what we're doing is sort of the bottom of that tree and we're looking at the process and the views that go into that process. So we have a view here that we're going to, or a process that we're going to call space utilization, and then we have several views that we're going to include in that. So the way to start that is to assign processes to the views. So we're going to start down here in one of those deep areas, and we want to first of all, select a an application that you own. And so in my case, I we are looking at the full license, but you may not have the full license. But in this case, we're looking at space. And I'm going to hit Enter. And you see it shows me a few things in space. And I'm looking for specifically, in this case, the one that matches my um, processes or my applications in my um, list, and that is space inventory and performance. Now, under space inventory and performance, you see a number of different processes. 
and just to give you a little bit of an overview here, some of them are general, some are for specifically for smart client, some are specifically for workspace transactions, and they're usually labeled RM trans, and then some are for CAD, and some are for um, uh, Windows. So you want to uh, be aware of, of, of that when you're assigning, if you're trying to have it show up in a particular place and you don't have workspace transactions, then you don't want to use those particular ones. But here what I want to do is actually add a new uh, process. And we're going to call that process space utilization. So I'm going to copy from my list here that I've made up. Space utilization, I'm going to do a display order, and in this case I'm going to leave it at zero just so it'll stay near the top of our list. I'm going to talk about where I want to use it, so in this case I'm going to use it in the home pages, so those are called web page navigator process. And then the license level, which is activity ACP unless we were to tell you something different. It's, it's always going to be that. So I'm going to click on that to save it. And now, it should have shown right up at the top. So let me slide over here a little bit and do the display order. And now you see it is at the top with the zero. And it looks like I left something out because I left the hole in there. So let me edit that. I'm going to take the space utilization and I'm going to copy it down and save it. So now, now you see it's filled in at the top. Now this is a little bit confusing sometimes with Archibus navigation. Uh, what am I supposed to do from here? So I want to add, I, I want to add views to this process. So if I edit the process, I'm talking about the process itself. If I delete it, then I'm deleting the process. But what I want to do is add views to it. So I'm going to click on the process. And then it shows me what's already been there. And of course, there's nothing there yet. So then we're going to go add new. So we're, cre we're creating a task. We're going to uh, give some information about that. Uh, so that it knows where to find the file. Now, I did, I did when I was creating this, and I'll go back uh, and show you how I did this to begin with, but I um, created this using um, tools that Archibus provides for us. So my first view that I want to add is the Global Portfolio Dashboard. So I'm going to copy that and put the tab, put it under task. This is a web URL, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make the display order 100, so this is the first one in my list, and then I'm going to add a task file. So I'm going to go back to my list, and I'm not going to show you this list anymore because it's getting in my way. Um, and then I'm going to add the file name that Archibus needs to go find that particular thing. So I've copied that in, and I hit Save, and now you see it comes up in at this first location. So I'm going to go on to Add New. I'm going to go to the next one, Space Console. Add it here. Put a URL. Display Order 200. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving plenty of room in case I want to come back later and be able to put things in. That number doesn't mean anything in particular and other than just a way to sort, and that's how the program sees it to sort it. So I'm adding the task file, and again, hit save, and now it's going to, it's letting me build this list. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to add something a little bit different. I'm going to add a space. Now this is really an interesting thing. In Archibus, they do a, a space as we go down, or a, a, it, it is a dash, and then two dashes, and then three dashes, 
And the reason for that is because it's um, that's a unique that's part of the primary key and and that's how you have to make those unique. So I'm going to put that in and then you see it kind of got out of order here. So I'm going to do the display order. Now they're lined up. So I've got two views and then I'm going to have a space. And the next thing I'm going to do is add in another label. In this case, I'm going to add in the word occupancy. And make that 300. And then I'm going to add new. I'm going to add in some views that have to do with occupancy. And this again is a web URL, so I'm going to go with, uh, we'll just do something a little different here just so you see that the number is not all that important other than that they're in the right order for you to display. I'm going to hit save, and so now we're working our way down. I've got two more that I want to add. So I'm going to get add new, web URL. Display order is going to be 400. Pass file. Save. And we're going to do one more. Add new. Web URL. Number 500. Pass file. and save. So now what I wanted to remember is that this is space utilization that I'm looking for when I go to put this into the system. And I'm going to put it, in this case I can put it in two different places. I can use one that doesn't have any um, anything in parentheses. I can use it either in um, my navigation for um, process navigator down the left side or I can use it in the home pages, which is what we're in now. So here I'm going to add it to the home pages, and it's a little more uh, complicated here because uh, it is um, it requires a little more uh, work to get it where you want it to go. So managing home pages and processes. And I can also do that from up here. I could just come here and hit Edit Home Page from here. Um, so the same thing happens. You get the um, particular one you're working with. So here I'm going to come back. I'm just going to come back here and make sure I'm in the Applications um, place so that we see that clearly. And I'm going to... Down here at the bottom, it's the applications. So I'm going to click on it and can edit properties. So these are properties about the home page itself, what order it's displayed in, uh, what license it has. We want to make sure that that's Web uh, Activity ACP, and um, if there's a descriptor file or that kind of thing. So I'm just going to save that. Whoops, didn't like that at all, did it? So then. I want to click into it. Well, and it's not going to let me do that, so let me add a new page. So we'll call this one Space. Giving me a hard time. Well, there's nothing quite like proving you're doing things live. <laughs> so we have a new panel, 
and we can have uh, different heights for this uh, row. If you remember back to the um, uh, back here, you see that these are uh, a particular height, and then as you click in to something, then you see different heights of the of each row, and that you you can determine what makes sense to you uh, for that particular activity. So let me get back to where it was. So there's my space utilization. I'm editing the page. And so my first thing is to, to edit the new panel. I'm going to edit properties. So my title is going to be space utilization. And we'll spell it right. And then I'm putting it in as a process. So when I ask for a process, it says, okay, well, where do you, what, what is the application that that's under? And And then I'm going to pick that one that we did before, which is uh, Space Inventory Bar. And then it will limit to what I have to choose from here, and I'm looking for that space utilization. So again, I'm going to type space here, and there it is at the bottom. And if I want to, I can add a tooltip here, and I can also make it a particular color. So I'm going to go with that and save it. And then if I if I choose, I can go further and edit, go back into those properties and edit it, or I can edit the tasks themselves, the same place we were doing that earlier. Also, if I make changes to that uh, independent of this operation that we're doing now, then it will um, add those in at a later point. So we want to publish. And that's been published. And then we want to go to the particular user and publish it by role. So I'm just going to publish them all. But in this case, the activity licensee is the user itself. And we're going to, uh, it's going through and publishing uh, each of these for us. And as we, after we get that, then we'll be able to log out, log in, and we should barring any more mishaps, see our um, space utilization homepage show up. And I probably bit off more than I wanted to there. Oh, there it goes. All right, so I'm going to log out and sign in. Now what has happened, so you see my space utilization showed up, but I didn't assign this to my particular role, so I need to go back and do a couple of other things. So we're going to assign this process to the role. So again, the role is the activity licensee, and I need to find the process. So here at the bottom, I check it, and I assign it, and say yes. And again, I'm going to sign out and back in. And it didn't. I may have to. I may have to go deeper than that to get it to show. But the idea being that once you've done that, and maybe you have to restart Tomcat to get here, but you'd have the views that you um, want to show here. And it also becomes, as you see, a part of your list that you're working with. So let me try one other thing. Let me clear my cache and see if that solves the problem. Nope. So I think I have to go and restart. 
So I am going to sign out and back in as AFM. And let's see if so we don't have it here. So I want to uh, that's and that's because I'm in workspace transactions. So I'm going to go back up. So I think in the part of what I'm doing here is demonstrating why you want to have as clear as you can, easy navigation for people. So I'm going to disable these workspace transactions, even though that says they are disabled. So I got that straightened out, but I didn't get my process the way I wanted it. So let's go back to um, Space Inventory Performance. Confirm that this is here. And there it is. So again, I think I'm just not restarting deep enough to really make that fly the way it needs to, but um, essentially I've shown you the process for doing this. So I'm ready for questions. All right. If you have questions, now is the time to pop those into the chat or Q&A panes currently on the right-hand side of your screen. For those viewing the on-demand recording, thank you so much for your time. I'm going to end the recording right now.